Larry, what do you envision your role as CEO of RDS with respect to nurturing talent in general? Rob, it's a great question. And the more that we have more people, whether it's WBN or inbound people, I find my job spending more 50, 60% of my time coaching, mentoring, and culture. So what does that mean? Um, there are certain WBN people that report directly to me. And so we're going to co uh, coach them on specific strategy and how to do their job better. And there's a bunch of other WBN that does not report to me, but I give them FaceTime once a week by a, um, we do 15 minutes just talking about life on a WhatsApp or a Zoom. And and what what's your goal when you're doing that? It's profound. It's really interesting. So let's go to the people that don't report to me for a second. It's never about the job. It's more or less, how are they doing? How do they feel? Do they like their job? What do you want to do? And we, we get off the script and I want to touch their humanity about what they're trying to achieve in their lives and how can I help them get there? Gotcha, gotcha. And um, what about for the people that you do work with directly? Is it similar in a way or yeah, different? So probably two times a week. One is yeah. all about strategy right. and the other all is the same thing. Yeah. How do I help you get to wherever you want to go? And what I'm finding is this. People from Central and South America even though people are people, they're wired differently. And I'm experiencing that they're not getting this type of mentorship, coaching, leadership, vulnerability, and trying to help another human get to the next level, even though it doesn't fill my own needs. But I feel like when I'm trying to do that and investing in them, they give me everything they got. They give me their blood, their guts, and, and, and they're amazing. They just perform better.